What's going on, Jerome's? Minnesota Fighting Vikings had their world famous night practice on Monday. Now, moving it from Saturday, eh, sort of is what it is. Didn't have any, any impact on attendance at all as it was sold out 6,500 butts in seats. You love to see it, man. And we got some winners and no losers. Just winners. Focus on the positive this season. So here are five players who have really helped themselves uh, at the Monday night practice. Now, we're actually going to have an extensive honorable mention section. So HMs. Actually, we could have done 10. Ah, well. Uh, so Cameron Dantzler, Patrick Peterson, uh, the Vikings starting cornerbacks. Uh, Dantzler's played really well. Uh, I think that he has had a really good camp. Patrick Peterson, he looks younger he looks lighter he looks more mobile agile hostile i think veteran days are really smart uh for him and i think that the uh patrick peterson set himself the shift to a more zone heavy defense versus uh, a man heavy defense i think is going to do wonders for his game because you know maybe he doesn't have the speed and agility to stick with wide receivers uh one-on-one uh, -on -one like he did back in the day when he was one of the best man cover corners in the league but if he can sit back in zone if he can see the entire field he can use his ball hawking ability and just uh, just just his instincts just really get after it i'm really excited about that ed ingram showed really well uh working as second team right guard i think that it will come down to the wire uh i i think that jesse davis is probably still a slight favorite because uh you know he did sign that one year three million dollar contract with like 2.75 million dollars guaranteed but ed ingram is also a second round pick so uh the new regime is invested in both of these guys we'll see who starts uh center chris reed uh, working with the twos look really good uh you know working uh, against the twos he's a, a starter caliber player uh, but him working against twos yeah it, it's certainly going to work things out i think that him and bradbury that competition is also going to come down to the wire uh kirk cousins i mean Kirk Cousins has had the best training camp I've ever seen. Yeah, I obviously wasn't keeping up with him uh, during his Washington days, but here in Minnesota, this is the best that he's been uh, in five years with the Vikings. I think the new offense has a lot to do with that. I think Kevin O'Connell has a lot to do with it, and I think that Kirk is going to be dropping dimes. Uh, he probably won't play a ton in preseason. Uh, we'll see what Kevin O'Connell's uh, philosophy is with starters in preseason because with the Rams, they, they didn't start anybody. Uh, they, they didn't put any of their starters out at all in preseason. Uh, so we'll see what uh, KOC wants to do uh, with the Vikes of this year. You write that down. Starters. Uh, wide receiver Trishan Jackson. Uh, he's a guy who is in that wide receiver 5-6 competition. Had a nice touchdown catch from Kellen Mond with the twos. Uh, and has also had a pretty solid camp. Him and Mitchell, uh, even though Mitchell uh, got dinged up. Uh, but Jack, T. Jack has had himself a really nice camp. Uh, edge rusher Zadarius Smith's gritty. I mean, Zadarius doing the gritty at the end of practice. Might have had the best reaction from the crowd, uh, even better than Greg Joseph's 58-yard field goal at the end. It's just kind of crazy, man. Uh, but into the winners, top five. So quarterback Kalamon. Now, I understand people are going to push up against this because he had some lows, and notably that fumbled exchange yet again. But uh, I think that he has shown enough in terms of big-time throws. Yes, primarily working against the twos. I think that he does have an edge right now over Sean Mannion. Mannion looked fine. Uh, Mannion... Mannion has been better uh, than in recent years, but also we saw Mannion last year against the Greasy Grammy Green Bay Packers, and uh, I don't know. Uh, Kellamon clearly has the higher ceiling. Uh, I think that a solid preseason, you know, starting with the Raiders on Sunday, uh, is going to go a long way in solidifying him as QB2. I think he might start seeing some separation. Uh, because, remember, we're a long ways from getting into the clubhouse. Because, remember, this time last year, after the night practice, when Jake Browning was the only quarterback due to uh, you know Rona stuff, I mean, everyone thought that he was going to be the Clear cut quarterback too. Sean Manning was going to get cut. They may get rid of Kellamon, but then uh, Jake Brown didn't even make the team because he had such an ass preseason. Uh, ass. Thank you. Uh, next up, winner number four from the night practice. Ooh, we'll put it in bold. King Kenne in Wangu. Uh, that's right. Uh, you know, ran with the ones a little bit, also with the twos. I uh, had a really nice, strong, sharp uh, run, the 15 yard touchdown, and, and yes, no tackling uh, in you know night practice, but. I'm really excited. I, I frankly, you know, Kenne needs some refinement in some of the technical stuff of being a running back because remember he only played, he played very sparingly at Iowa State. Like he only played like a a season's worth of snaps for a traditional starting college running back. So uh, that's also a blessing and a curse because it's a curse because yeah, he's not as well versed uh, in the technical aspects of being uh, a running back. He's not as refined as he could be. But it's nice that there's mileage. Uh, there's a lot of mileage left on him because he didn't take all those uh, hits in college. So he's coming in fresh. The explosiveness is there. 
putting the foot in the ground and go uh, primarily outside zone running back uh, what the Vikings still run primarily uh, in Kevin O'Connell's offense and I think that he uh, and we're saving this I guess there we go. I think that he does have a chance to really be a big-time contributor, uh, even with Dalvin, even with Madison, et cetera. Next up, uh, winner number three from Monday Night Practice. Zach McLeod, the edge rusher from, that's just the U being the U. Uh, got in there, had a nice tackle for losses, been getting pressures, had been really showing well in one-on-ones. I think that well, first off, I think he's going to show really well in preseason. Going to work against twos and some threes as well. I think McLeod, he's got that man size strength. He was in college for six years, for goodness sake. Uh, and also, this really is only a second year uh, working as an edge rusher because he was primarily an off-ball linebacker at uh, Miami. He's got leadership for days. Uh, he knows what it takes to uh, run a defense. And the fact that he, he's got him on the edge, uh, he's got some great physical uh, attributes uh, to him. And he's going to continually be getting better uh, working with Mike. Smith every single day. He's already ahead of guys like Janaris Robinson. I think he's on par with Patrick Jones second. And this is as a UDFA. So I think that he I think that he has a good shot to make the 53. Not just the practice squad. The 53. Let's get going. Uh, next up. Oh, he's going to be our James Harrison. Just, I, I, I love that. I love it. Next up. A winner number two. K.J. Osborne. Now, you could say, well, uh, you, you know, this list, you don't have Jefferson or Thielen or wh- whatever because yeah, they're expected to be good. I, I fully understand that. Uh, That's why all, we also don't have Daniil or Zadarius or Kendricks on here. But K.J., I mean, he busted out last year. You know, had 600-plus yards receiving, had six tutties. But I think he could explode even further. I think at the end of the season, you look back, and again, this is no aspersion on Adam Thielen. I think that K.J. could be the wide receiver, two for the Vikings. Just because, you know, say Thielen is right here. K.J. is right here coming the season. K.J. goes right here. Again, nothing goes wrong or haywire with Thielen. Just K.J. is that good. And we said for a while that I, I do think that K.J. could be the wide receiver, two down the line, the Batman to Justin Jefferson's Batman. we got two Batmans, no Robin up in here. So... Man, I, I can't wait because I, I feel like he looks like he lost a little bit of weight, even though he wasn't, uh, yeah, he wasn't huge to begin with. But uh, looking slim, looking trim, refinement and routes. Obviously, trust in two-minute drill. He had three catches uh, when the Vikings marched down the field in two-minute drill on Monday night. And, yeah, I, I do think that KJ, everything is there. Brand new, wide open offense, quarterback uh, who trusts you. Uh, yeah, Thielen and Jefferson taking away uh, 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 corners from from you. So I think KJ could have himself a season, man. Uh, oh, but this is the U versus Miami section. Love it, man. Uh, next up, or finally, winner number one. Greg Joseph. Greg Joseph might be the player of camp, man. And Greg Joseph was really backing up the Vikings' decision not to have uh, competition at the kicking position uh, after they got rid of Gabe Burkich in the offseason. Now he's with the Packers. Wow. Uh, but 7-8 to eight on field goals, including a 58-yard bomb to end the session. Uh, also had a 45-yard game winner. I mean, he's been nails uh, through all the sessions at uh, training camp so far. I mean, uh, new special teams corner Matt Daniels was perfectly right to hype him up. I, I do think that uh, third leg Greg, uh, G DJ, that doesn't work. I, I do think that Joseph has a chance to just go out there and bomb things, especially from 50 yards plus. You know, distance was never his issue. Um, but could he become a pro bowler this year? It's possible. It certainly is possible. Although you know, the Vikings aren't going to be settling for field goals. They're being kicking touchdowns, but is what it is there. But uh, that's it. Uh, that's our uh, top five winners and a bunch of honorable mentions uh, from Monday Night Practice. Uh, let us know your thoughts. Where did we get it right? Where did we get it right? Who would you add to the list? Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.